Well, my hair is crazy today. Is this even is this even on this mic? I think it is. I it's been a few days since I've done one of these because I kind of took a break last week from doing videos. Uh, I'm sure you guys were. If you were in the U.S., uh, you were probably had a slow week with Thanksgiving. I um I had a good Thanksgiving. My uh, my kids came down and uh, my well my old. My second oldest son, Connor, came down from um, Charleston after he goes to school. And then my older son, who's in the Army, gets home today. Wow. He gets home today, so we're going to celebrate Thanksgiving a little bit late and Christmas a little bit early. He's home for 10 days before Jake heads to South Korea for a year. Um, so uh, it'll be good to have him have everybody in, in the house. Uh Hope you had a good one and enjoyed your time off if you had any. If you didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. And I just wanted to um, say hi again. Just get back into the swing of things and, uh, and, and show you a cool little thing that we just released that allows you. Um, by the way, Jeremy wrote this blog on it. I will, I will post it uh, as, as one of the comments in my LinkedIn feed. But Jeremy wrote this great blog on, and I'll move it over so I can give him some props here. You don't want to see me. On get automatic updates in the Zoom client. And in order to do that, you really just go to your uh, settings tab and, and, go to, and go to the general uh, tab. Now watch this. I'll just pull it over here for you. So I went to settings. I went to general, and then underneath general, you're going to have an automatically keep Zoom up to date. Now you're going to have a cool couple of cool choices. The cool choices are fast and slow. And what does that mean? Well, it really means exactly what it kind of says on the screen. Slow is fewer updates, better stability. Why is that better? Because you know, anytime you release something quickly or, or it may be in a beta with future uh, features and stuff, you always have to work through a few bugs and and uh, that's what the fast is right you're gonna work you're gonna have the latest and greatest uh, uh, feature set in your client if you're an IT admin you're probably gonna push the slow one out to your individual users the information workers the knowledge workers in your environment but for nerds like me and you IT nerds out there you're probably gonna want to try the fast because you'll get the newest features one to test and two to play with right so you got to support your users and customers that's that's part of what we're designing here at Zoom is to, to be able to automatically keep, keep your Zoom client up to date. So thank you, Jeremy, for that wonderful blog. Uh, thank you, audience, for, for listening to me ramble on a, on a Tuesday morning. <laughs>